All right there, hello everyone. Today, as we all saw that to the intro of this today's video, today we'll be doing uh, sort of like a NASCAR car review, but today we will be reviewing the next, the Gen 7, next gen car, so next gen car for 2022 and beyond. So here are the, the Gen 6 cars that I have in my collection for, T for Chevy. Toyota and Ford so we're going to be comparing them and we're going to be opening up today and they'll be introduced next to my into my next NASCAR racing tournament so they'll be in today and these three doesn't have a name just Ford Toyota and the Chevy so anyways let's go ahead crack these crack these boys open and we'll be right back All right, now we have the next gen open up, and let's take a look at the back real quick. Man, these are sick, man. I love the next gens, how they done this. See, the only thing I don't like the next gen car of for NASCAR of this year is the is the the one lug nut because they usually have five lug nuts, and um, this year they only have one lug nut because, and yes, this year we had a lot of penalties for Hendrick, Joe Gibbs, and rest of the teams for losing these wheels so that's that's the only thing I don't like about the new next gen car for the NASCAR that only has one lug nut it's trying to be like Formula One or uh, IndyCar so so yeah let's take a look at the manufacturers first we're gonna take a look at Toyota and um, the difference is right away with Toyota is the base by the way the base let's get the camera closer the base right here it doesn't have like these pipes anymore like the gas can nothing like that the next gen car only has like a blank base like uh, let's get Renault let's get this Porsche right here for example it's kind of like the Porsche how they done almost kind of like a Porsche by the way not exactly but uh, but um, yeah it's trying to be like a sport car sort of so uh, here's Toyota and a uh, look at the front end uh, now I'm curious to see if Toyotas are actually going to be faster than my next gen Gen 6 Toyota so I'm curious to see if they're going to be fast each other But that will be another tournament coming up soon for the Toyotas Ford and Chevy now. I'll save the Chevy for last. Here is this Ford See no, no, not not much of a difference between the Ford, but same thing the base of course One love on it. By the way, I love this wheels how it's done for this blue one right there I really love that part and um, and uh, the difference between this next gen it has a camera like a rear view camera I don't know y'all can see on the die cast but in real NASCAR we go in person you'll see that there's a camera for the rear almost like an Amazon Prime dance sort of but um, none of that I like this paint scheme the only thing is the one lug nut I don't like but that is part of it so I like the big Ford how it done I really love this paint scheme for Ford for the next gen so uh, this is the part I love and for the Ford Mustang nose right there a little bit of difference the Ford logo is up there for the Gen 6 and the Ford it only has the symbol Ford for the for the bottom so uh, other than that the Ford stated a decent job and here is Chevy our last car it's the 2022 Chevy the Camaro Z01 so um, and by the way it doesn't have the names like like the old Gen Gen 6 car, so um, that's very very smart by the way. But um, man, I really love this nose, how it's done, and the pipe. So um, yeah, they did a great job with this die cast, by the way. Very nice. So so let's go ahead and do some pushing tests. All right, first up, we're gonna do the Chevy first, and it does push well, by the way. Very well push well. Under the nose, try the right rear. Yeah, right rear, still straight. Still, let's try the left rear. I don't know if I showed you correct. Yeah, still same thing for the right and left rear. Now let's try the Gen Six versus the next Gen. Yeah, same thing. So, yeah, that one slides, by the way, for the old Gen 6. All right, now let's try 
Toyota. First the Gen 6 testing. Looks straight still. And let's do the right rear. Messed up. And yeah, right rears are not straight for the Toyotas for the for the Gen 6 a little bit surprising because we've got the new next gen. So uh, let's do full let's do him next. And yeah, this video might be long today because of the next gen. And the next gen review for the NAS car and my thoughts about the car, so. Right rear. And yeah, right rear is definitely not straight for the Toyota, so Chevy did a great job. Now our last stop, Ford. All right, let's try our old the Gen 6 first with the Jack next gen. Man, I can't. I don't know what I'm talking about there for a moment. Yeah, levers now straight. The same thing. Okay, but they do slide. So you can spin them out a little bit. So let's try the right rear. And yeah, so same thing. Ford did the same thing as Chevy. Now let's try the new Ford. And I'm um, sorry about the back noise in the background. And same thing, just spit them out. So, the right rear. And yeah, right rear is not straight still too for Ford. But Chevy did, Chevy did work very well with the Fords and the Toyota. My pushing test, I might test more. But um, and yeah. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this kind of like a special, special video for the next gen versus the gen 6. Sorry this video was long today. But I had a lot of thoughts to say, so hope y'all have a great day or night. Bye for now.